Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Precious. It's Doug Melanie Popping Queen, and we are back again with another video. Today, you guys, we're going to talk about how to keep your coochie and how to keep your punani fresh, squeaky clean. Ne? And, ne, disclaimer, disclaimer, ne? you will never, ever, 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 not in your entire life. <laughs> no, you guys, ne? so we just have to get this out of the way. Ne? Your pussy. Your punani, your vajayjay will never smell like roses, will never smell like strawberries, will never smell like vanilla, okay? Your punani will never smell like that. Naturally, it's not even supposed to smell like that. Now, before we get any further, <laughs> before we get further into today's conversation. So, I've jogged a few things down, you guys. So, I'm going to keep give you guys tips on how to keep your coochie clean at all times and how to avoid some of the things that actually make our pussies <laughs> pussies a cat, right? How to other things that makes our pussies smell off ish. Ne? They smell off. So, I'm going to talk about that. Yeah. yeah let us start with the video yeah so first of all tip number one please you guys do not stick anything inside of your coochie number one we know that your coochie naturally it cleans itself yeah? so what you have to do is to make sure that at least the outer part we're speaking about the vulva the lips the lips yeah? Make sure that at least you keep that area clean at all times. So, never ever, never ever stick anything inside of your vagina. Ne? More especially something that you think it will keep it clean. Tampons, it's okay. You can do that. But then, other than that, please do not stick anything inside of your vagina. Ne? We have to respect her. Respect her, okay? Hmm. Number two. Tip number two, please make sure that every chemical or every product that you use does not contain any funny chemicals. I'm speaking about scented parrots, scented, um, what you call, wipes and all that kind of stuff. So just make sure that every product that you use ne, is or it does not contain those chemicals. So guys, yeah. When you use scented or scented uh, products, ne? scented products they contain chemicals, and those chem chemicals can like derail or just hamper with your pH in your kushi. Ne? So you always have to make sure that at least the pH of your kushi is balanced, because when it's not balanced, obviously you will have like an odor or you will have like a type of smell which is not really pleasant. Mm? That was tip number two. So, number three, you must make sure that you bath at least twice a day. Please, you must bath at least twice a day. And then, bathing, you know that water, guys, water, it has to be her best friend. If you don't like water, we're going to have problems. Because I'm telling you, because it releases Remember, it naturally cleans itself. Ne? So, now you have to make sure that this area down there is kept clean at all times. So, you must bath or shower twice a day. Yeah. And then, tip number four, you must make sure that you wear cotton underwear. Ne? Wear cotton underwear. Like, during the day. During the day, please wear cotton because cotton is at least breathable like she can breathe she can have some air like she, while she's busy doing her cleansing and everything at least she'll have movement she'll have air ventilation for her to breathe i mean your vajayjay now 
not only that like if during the day when you decide mm, i'm going to have like those sock and words and everything like that there's no problem with doing that but then at night at least you must make sure that you like you put on your cotton underwear either you put on cotton underwear or you just like sleep naked bruh underwear or just no underwear period now like even i even i sleep naked at night to be honest like i feel it's the most wonderful and most relaxing moment of my day <laughs> yeah like just put on like that oversized t-shirt after bathing then sleep naked no question asked she would even be happy that you did that she will even be happy so i still press on this you guys so at least have your cotton underwears cotton underwears now, another tip now like when you're busy during the day like when you're busy during the day going like up and down and everything up and down and everything like if you start to feel that you're not as fresh as you were well, yeah. so as i was saying eh, like when, when you're busy during the day and you start to feel like you're not fresh enough and everything so i would suggest that you at least invest in like some some wipes or feminine wipes né? uh feminine wipes like and try those ones which are not scented this one i'm still going to press on like i'll emphasize on that try those ones which are not scented or does not contain any chemicals or anything funny on the nature now so i also suggest that like if you can't find them like feminine wipes you can also use baby wipes because we know that babies are sensitive to literally every single thing now so baby wipes they can also work the same way as feminine wipes so you can just you know during the course of the day you like wipe a bit pa, 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 wipe a bit you get me you get me all right so you just wipe down there during the day because you know that in a lot like in summer days in summer days when you sweat a lot and when you're busy going up so no, yes guys um during the summers people we sweat we sweat a whole lot so i would suggest that um yeah you use those baby wipes and your bath you guys you should bath you guys i repeat twice at least twice a day you guys now anyway so during your periods during your period uh you can at least no, it's just a tip not uh, it's just tips during your period you can just make sure that you you work out because when you work out you can um you know relieve some pains and relieve you know a whole lot of stuff now again Again, okay. when you work out, you can like reduce your your flow. Yeah, you can reduce your flow. Né? And even when you feel like you're having like too much cramps and everything, you can, when you work out, né, you can induce your periods faster. Yeah, it, it helps you guys. Uh, and then tip number two for periods. Um, as I'm brief, né? working out can help you relieve pain and working out can also, again, né? reduce the period of your menstrual or menstrual cycle menstrual <laughs> cycle it can reduce it like you know so i would suggest that you also avoid using aspirin for pain relief because when you do that it can cause you a whole lot of bleeding and we all know we don't want to bleed that much mm. And again, you can also use birth control. Birth control, you guys, can help you also to, you know, reduce your cycle, you know, help you track your menstrual periods and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, suggest doing that to relieve all those pains, your cramps, you know, so on and so forth. Mm. I would say that I'm going to be using birth control. So, I would say that not experiencing it, you guys. <laughs> So again, uh, to just keep it fresh down there while you, you know, during your periods and everything, you can make sure that you at least change your tampon or your pad every two to three hours. Ne? guys, you, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what you guys are thinking. Moto would think um, they could 
sorry, like go on the whole day with just one pet. That's so nasty, you guys. That is so fucking nasty. Nah. So please re remove it. Change it. Every time. So now you guys. Um yeah, as I was saying, uh every time you feel there's like an awful smell down there and you feel like her she's suffocating and everything, please do change your tampon and change your pet two to three times to avoid those kind of smells mm. there's a thing we call toxic shock you guys you should check that out i will just place it down here so that you see what that means toxic shocks infections and bacteria just because you are keeping your parrots way too fucking long okay another thing you should make sure that you drink a whole lot of water guys drink water you know drink water like in most cases when you drink water like it helps with your flow number one it will help reduce your flow or it make sure that you just bleed out faster and when you bleed out faster it means now your circle is reduced bruh like that period just that is that it shrunks now it shrinks bruh and then the other thing now um another thing is the last one the last one is like you can use organic products you guys well they say that organic products like they help to maintain the ph they balance the ph like you can try their pits you know you can try like the other you know coochie cleaning products yeah no. but don't try those harmful ones you guys no? so last thing is just to try organic products i'm also going to try organic products because i haven't done that I was I was actually trying that plain yogurt ish. Hey, plain yogurt is not nice, you guys. But then it's good. It's good. It's good. Ne, for for her, and also pineapples. Pineapples are good for her. So you can try like eating food stuff, like like those ones. So now, you guys, I thank you so much for being with me and watching this video up until this far. I hope that video is like it's helpful to you and it will help you at least to make thank sure thank you so that guys you guys for watching come back and watch another video thank you